Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. Today we're going to be working on leads if the map loads when I zoom in. It's an interesting one because I'm not actually 100% where the station is in Leeds. It's somewhere in the centre. Um, I do have open railway maps up but that's not actually helping as much as you'd imagine. I think it's here. Over the river helpfully. So the, uh, the track menu has been completely redone since I last played and I've got to get used to a new menu. There's medium speed track, which is different to high speed track. It, it does say high speed is a maximum speed of 350, and medium speed is a maximum speed of 160. I'm just going to continue using high speed for everything because that's easier. <laughs> so, let's look at getting some platforms in. First things first, obviously we have apparently the birthplace of commercial rail, I'm being told. Um, two singles and then another double and I'm also going to need a couple more singles so there's a single there, a single there, a single there and there there's a normal bit of track in that gap and there's yet another single out here by the looks of it I'm gonna. I'm so gonna have missed one out, but I'll notice in the end. Um, double, single, single, double, and single. Right. Now that that's done, we can start moving them into position. So, pick parent twenty-five, flip. Pick parent twenty-five, flip. And then these are three adjacent tracks. And then we do the same on this side. Pick parent 25 flip. Just going to shift it down a little bit. Pick parent 25 flip. And move these into a reasonable length. The main station is actually quite lengthy, but kind of roll with it. I think it is pretty long in real life. So, um, this one's going to be more interesting to do. So, what I believe I need is this track here, and then these ten apart. out to there. Right, I think 35, or is it 30? Oh, I think it is 35. So I'll have that like that, and then I also move this stop point to there. There we go. Move this one up here as well. That sort of counteracts the effects. Are there any new signals that I should know about? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, back to the back to the building. Or the, the moving, I guess. In flip and extend. And that sort of resolves this main station section. So now it's just the bay platforms left, which are also awkwardly difficult to do. So what I might end up doing is dropping some of these gaps down. I think 15 feels more reasonable for that. Maybe 20 there and 20 here. Just to try and shrink the station a little bit so that I can use up a bit more space. So I'll drop that down to 15 so I'll drop this down to 25. So what could happen, except I might take it up to 30. There we go. Pull that in. That's all fine. I see no issues with that. And then it's just a matter of getting this to work. So, it does come out over the river. That is something that happens. This platform needs to be a little shorter. These come out over the river. 
Um, I have a parent that on there. That's probably a bit too big. We'll go with 20 again. Pick parent 20, flip. And then these come out at a different angle. So, what's going on? That like that. And finally, over here, like so. I think that's roughly right. I, I'm kind of limited in this existing. If I move that entire station down like so... That should give me a little more space to work with. Drag these out a little bit, or even pull them back a little bit. That's effectively how the station's laid out. Now I rename it to Leeds. Okay, I've got to go out the right hand side first because I think that's going to be easier. So, first things first we have a double track coming in here that runs down and into these two platforms like so then we have a single track off of there that follows round and out to that platform. There's a parallel set of points to get across between the two tracks and another set here that comes out to the middle of the triple line. There we go. There's also a way across from there. And then a split off there coming down here to there. I should point out this technically isn't all viaduct, but with everything that's going on and all the roads in awkward places, it's going to be easier just to make it all viaduct. Um, so we've got that, there's a set of points off there into here, and then off of there into the platform. The other platform is accessed from a track off of here, which comes down and in, and then there's also set of points like so. Uh, once again I should mention this isn't entirely accurate because realistically the entire station's on a curve and the platforms change width throughout but I'm limited in what I can do so that's the best I can manage I think. I'm just going to check track C to see if I've got the layout roughly right. I think I do. I mean, there are some other sets of points elsewhere, but I think they're a lot further up. Yeah, okay. So that's that side of the station done, for now. What I do need to get in is the double crossover in the middle of the station. Uh, don't, don't double track it, because that won't help matters. So normally this would allow for platform sharing and overtaking. I think I did similar at Cambridge. But because you can only have one platform stop marker at each platform, in each direction, it doesn't really actually work if I come into Cambridge. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, here we go. I did put it in. So normally you could have two trains be in and then overtake each other coming out. But limitations. It won't actually work, but we've done it anyway. 
So, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. There appears to be six tracks coming in. Leads on this side. Um, I am going to not viaduct them, I think. If I can manage it. They need to be they need double. Um, round we go. And if I bring another set in and a third set. And then try and bring them over the viaduct quickly. This first set comes up into there. So if I sort of straighten that out a little bit. There we go. There's also a set of points off of here. that comes up and around and into the far platform up the top that's a little awkward to get into and obviously a uh, parallel set to no, don't do that game that's not what I asked for um, like so there we go Trying to get all of these points into these platforms in is not going to be the easiest. Uh, not least because I've already done it wrong. So they need to go. Uh, this comes in like so, and this goes in there. Like that. Okay. We are going to have a set of points across to there and back across I'm trying to avoid taking up too much space while also accepting it's going to end up taking up quite a bit of space um, can we modify this to not do that uh, if I got it it was that set of points causing the issue right there we go and Then, off of here we have one set up to there. Try and neaten it up a bit, although there's a limit to what I can do. And another track in alongside to there. Set of points out of here to there, and out of this platform to there, and then there's a crossover here. This layout must be a nightmare to actually signal anything across. I thought some of the London Termini were bad, but this is horrible. Okay, that's pretty much done. Um, obviously there's still this track missing. That's that's still missing because it links up somewhere really awkward that I've not got to yet. So we'll come back to it. First things first, we'll bring the other tracks up across the viaduct. I'll probably only bring them that far before going off into singles. Okay, pick parent there, flip parent there and I've just got to do this back along the six track section I think it's that node that was the uh, the main one that's always the awkward thing to work out is where's the node once you've built a set of points which ones you need to parent it off of but back down this way flip pick parent flip uh, no, that's on the wrong track. There and there. And all that's done. There and there. Okay. Back 
into building. So, I believe we should do the Boston 2 first. They come out this way and down to these two um, platforms. And if I parent them off of each other quickly... So they're still a double track. There we go. So that's one set done. The other double comes into the bottom two of the triple. The southern two of the triple. So we'll bring it out this way into there. Just the one intermediary node. Well, actually, I say just the one intermediary node is required. Actually, two are going to be. Um, because I'd forgotten that the, the middle track isn't platform, so it curves differently. Pick parent, flip. Pick parent, flip. There we go. And that's, that's sorted. Okay. Next step. We have a track out of here that comes up to there. And once again, the parallel to do that. Then this track also splits off to go up there. So that's sorted. Then from back down here, we have a set of points off that comes up to these two. There we go. And that obviously has, as expected, one of these next to it. Which is also then ladders over to the bottom two lines. Uh, that's in the wrong place, but I can fix that. That's fine. We just do that. And back towards the bridge, we have points here. Almost done. Almost got all the junctions in. I have a set there. And off of here. And this is the line that comes out and up to there. Now we'll pick parent flip. And that'll probably be it actually. Okay, then we have to work out where that connects it. Where it connects I believe is just off there onto there. There we go. There is, on the viaduct, helpfully, a track from the this one across to this one. And also from here across to here. I'll do the points after the viaduct in a second because I, I want to finish off the main station area first. So, what am I missing currently? I've got the track out of the triple. That's all fine. What I'm missing is the bit down here, which uh, Open Rail Maps is claiming is called the Hallam Line. So that's what we're going with, I guess. So off of there, and also off of... Is there a better place I can do that? Yes, the better place is there. Off of there. This platform's actually in the wrong place. It should be sort of more like that. I believe. I'm going to pull this back. Um, it's a shame I can't control Z, because that could do with... Be control Z it really to fix it. But oh well. That'll do. 
And then once again, we have to move the platform stop markers to make the platforms roughly the right length. That'll be fine. Okay. That's leads done then. Then we come out to the junctions down here quickly. Probably don't have a lot more time left this episode, so we'll just get the junctions in quickly and then leave it. So, off of here, I'm just trying to work out where it is in relation to that path. Um, and that road. Mainly because the road doesn't appear to actually be on open rail maps. I think I come off roughly there. And I was pressing the wrong key. Okay, and we come round the curve here. There we go. That's what I'm going with. So, we also have off of there to there, line 3 up to 2, and over here, 2 up to 1. I'm going to have to adjust that afterwards. Sometimes it's easier to adjust the points afterwards to get them into a position where they don't complain. Then we also have 5 to 6. And a crossover between 3 and 4. So there up and down and there we go that is the the main bulk of the junction around Leeds so I'll probably leave it there for now so thanks for watching like subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one